Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you some pretty good knowledge for new moms or just any mothers in general because I know that I loved watching these types of videos, but basically all the items that I just feel like are super unnecessary and are just, you know, I regret buying. They, you really don't need them. And you know, these are all my opinions. So what I think you don't need, somebody else, it might be like their holy grail. So these are just my opinions from um, using them with the two kids. I think I have some pretty good knowledge by this point, but you know, everybody has their own preferences. Every baby is different. So what my babies like, your babies might not like, or they might love what I regret buying, you know? So every baby is their own unique self and it's just like any products that you would use for yourself you want to try it out first and everybody is different and we all like different stuff so i'm going to be sharing with you some products that i just feel like are super unnecessary but before we get into today's video don't forget to subscribe if you're new here welcome i am a mom that lives in florida of a baby girl or <laughs> toddler she's not a baby anymore she's two and a half her name is ava and a baby boy that is seven months old i literally feel like i just had him in january but welcome to our my channel i literally talk about all things motherhood and lifestyle with i throw in some other little things here and there we do vlogs lots of fun stuff on my channel so i'm so happy that you're here and if you are a continued follower thank you so much for your support and tuning into my videos every week i do try to post once or twice every single week usually on wednesday or saturday but it does change because I am a working mom, so I work about 40 hours a week in the property management industry. So it can be very, you know, my schedule is all over the place. So I don't usually like to commit to specific days, but just hit that bell notification and you can be notified for all my videos. But without further ado, let's get into these topics. And I have my absolute favorite drink from Starbucks right now because it is September and they just introduced their fall drinks. So my favorite at this time is the pumpkin spice cold brew. And I just dropped off my kids at their um, grandparents' house. I have a day to myself, just a little backstory before we get into everything. So it's nice that I'm able to film some videos for you guys and get my house all vamped up and cleaned because it gets crazy. But I'm very thankful to be having this day to myself. Self-care and mama days are definitely essential, but this is my favorite drink and I definitely had to have it today to get some things done. So let's talk about baby products that we regret. <clears throat> it's just, there's so many things that are unnecessary that you really don't need. And it's just amazing what you think you need as a new time mom. And of course, we're all super excited and we all usually splurge and buy so many things that we don't need for our first baby. I know I did, but these are just newborn essentials that are just unnecessary. You can get by without having them and what I regret the most and what I don't even have because I got rid of them because I just didn't use them at this point. So I will insert pictures as I talk about them, but I most of these products I don't really physically have to show you because I either got rid of them or <clears throat> they're just somewhere not handy. So to start off with, we're gonna talk about clothing first, this category. What I regret buying the most is just tons of fancy clothes. You know, when they're a newborn, they're gonna be living in onesies and sleepers, okay? That's it. I regret buying tons of fancy, cute little outfits. I mean, you, you can have like one or two for a really cute picture. Most of the time when you have newborn pictures, they're gonna be swaddled anyway, or the photographer will already have the clothes, but that's super unnecessary. They're not gonna be in any of those clothes. So I recommend just not buying a lot of them, just buy a few cute outfits, and then buy mostly just onesies and sleepers. And on another note, when, when it comes to that category, do not buy the snap sleepers okay it's just just don't do it <laughs> it is just the most it is so it's just painful honestly just don't do it because you, most of the time you're tired you're sleepy and you're i always end up being like a snap off so it's just i get so frustrated by the zipper ones you will thank me <laughs> when you have your baby you will thank me you'll come back on here and comment and be like thank you for telling me that don't do it also you don't really need to go crazy which i I actually did with both of my kids just because I love so I love little baby shoes 
super unnecessary, especially for the first three months, three to four months, probably even longer. Um, they're going to have the sleepers come with you know, little footy. It's a, it's a, it's a sleeper. So it covers their entire foot. You don't really need a ton of socks. You don't need shoes. Actually, they recommend for babies not to really wear shoes because it's just, they don't, they don't need to. It, they need, their foot is growing like crazy and you just don't need to. I just put them on just for pictures and things like that, but I wouldn't go crazy with socks or shoes. The sleepers are going to cover your baby's feet, which you're going to most of the time when they sleep and stuff, you're going to have them in that. So don't go crazy on all the, the clothes. Now, <laughs> um, a lot of people probably think like bows and stuff are unnecessary, but I love, if you have a girl, trust me, you'll know what I mean. I am obsessed with bows, but I will have to say after having a boy in the clothing category, I wouldn't go crazy with buying hats. Like that first month you know you want to get those pictures and those super cute like little beanie hats and stuff definitely get a couple of them but i wouldn't go crazy on getting a bunch of hats i live in florida and i remember with my daughter i had so many hospital hats so many little hats and she barely wore any of them it's cute for you know maybe having one or two for a picture or something like that but i really that's something that's just not necessary but of course it really depends on your climate and where you live but for me any of that stuff is not necessary. I would have much rather, which I am with my son now, purchase maybe something that's a lot lighter weight, like a bonnet or a hat, because they're gonna need that when they're in the sun. So that is definitely on my must have, which check out this video that I've already posted. If you haven't checked it out, all of my baby must haves for newborn at the phase are, is listed there. So I would definitely check that out if you're looking for must haves. Next baby item is swaddles. Okay, swaddles are really cute. You definitely want to buy some, but I would just buy a few. Um, I wouldn't buy too many before they're born because every baby is different. And what your baby likes, my baby might not like. It's it's like I said, they're, they're your only unique little baby. So they may not like certain swaddles. So just buy a few. You don't want to buy a ton. Plus, you know, you're, only, you're not going to use, you know, them as much. You can wash them and things like that. So I just wouldn't go crazy. Um, and especially the, the really cute ones that are like really big and stuff and then you, you have to swaddle them to yourself. Honestly, I've only bought a couple of those with my, with my son, but my daughter, I bought way too many. And then you end up just using the ones that Velcro, the swaddle means, swaddle me ones anyways. So like I said, I just wouldn't go crazy with buying all the cute prints and things like that because it just becomes, you know, money, your precious dollars that you really don't need to spend. So just one or two of those. And then I would buy some of, um, like one of the little like swaddle me ones that velcro but there's tons of different ones like i said you need to experiment with your baby because what your baby likes mine might not like or vice versa uh next thing is a cloth wrap i honestly just i don't know i just wouldn't even buy one from my experience i think they're super cute and i've always wanted to um try it i actually didn't buy one with my daughter but i always had it in the back of my mind that i wanted to have a cloth baby carrier wrap i actually borrowed one from my a friend and i just could not and i can't i can't believe how much money people spend on on these i just i couldn't even figure it out i used it like twice and i'm like this is too much of a hassle every time i want to put my baby in it to wrapper i don't know like i said this is just my opinion i would much rather have like a tool of baby carrier or another type of actual baby carrier that can be adjustable my husband can, can wear it anybody can wear it and it just works so much better it, it you it just it's way quicker i just feel like the cloth, cloth uh wraps they're really cute but i just feel like it's just not necessary at all it, it might be your preference but for me it just did not work for me at all it might be good for that first newborn stage to kind of keep them close to you but after that it just didn't work for me um so the next item there's i'm probably going to be discussing maybe about 10 different things there's no specific number i just made a list of some things that just really stuck in my head that i just did not like or i just thought was super unnecessary that you can get away with um not having and there's probably a lot a lot of other things because there's honestly a lot of stuff that you can get away without having and that aren't that is unnecessary i'm just going through some main things that have popped into my head throughout these last couple of years that i really think you don't need that i regret uh the next item would be a nurse nursing cover 
okay i only breastfed my kids for my daughter i only breastfed her for like a month my son two months i you know just had issues if you followed me for long you know what those are i've discussed those in other videos my postpartum video discuss those issues but i just felt like you know I would rather just get like a burp cloth or a muslin blanket just kind of you know cover yourself a little bit and i just feel like it's just you're kind of figuring out what to see where to like you can't even see your baby i just feel like it's super unnecessary just kind of honestly what worked for me most of the time you know i would use a burp cloth or a muslin blanket sometimes but most of the time i would just do like the two shirt method i would have um, a shirt like I would wear like a flowy shirt and then I would have my tank top or my, my nursing bra and undo it and then have the baby underneath my shirt and it is all flowy and I can just go like this. To me, that is way more convenient than a nursing cover and those can be super expensive. So I wouldn't even try to get these fancy expensive nursing covers that they sell now. Uh, next baby item, excuse me, I would have to say would be a wipe warmer i didn't have one with my daughter my daughter was super easy going but i decided to try one with my son because he was kind of he was a little bit more particular than my daughter so basically he would always cry and i so i'm like okay maybe he's just cold when i would change his diaper and it worked a little bit for the first week but honestly i just couldn't get over how it dried the wipes out I, I don't under like it's just somebody needs to maybe reinvent it to where it doesn't dry the wipes out I've only tried one but I've heard other people have other brands that have the same problem but literally it takes it makes it like barely moist anymore so that was a deal breaker I'm like I'm not even gonna deal with it you know after like a couple of weeks after he was born he was fine and I didn't need it anymore so definitely don't get a wipe warmer warmer i know that's on a lot of people's lists of what to that they regret don't get a wipe warmer next baby item is let's see what else i got a bottle warmer another thing like i said it's just i mean it's your preference but you can do a do-it-yourself warmer way simple get a big cup put some hot water in it put the bottle in it for a few seconds or a minute or something and you're good or I wouldn't put it in the microwave, that's a no-no. But run it under some hot water, something like that, and you're good to go. I didn't have to really warm my bottles up with my daughter. She wasn't particular, but my son actually prefers a warm bottle unless it's like we're outside or something but for his nighttime bottle, he has to have it warm or he'll literally spit out the milk. <laughs> He's just, boys are more particular in my opinion from my experience. <laughs> But anyways, I could have done without it because what ends up happening is I either it's not it doesn't do anything. It's too, still too cold or I get it too hot because I get busy doing something. So honestly, what I do is, you know, I use the bottle warmer every now and then, but I could have gotten by with just putting hot water in a cup or using a tea kettle, warming the water up, putting it in a cup. And there you go. It takes just as much time, maybe like a minute more than you would a bottle warmer. So just save yourself the hassle and also you know temperature wise it's just no i would much rather um what i've um been recommended is the nook bottles they have like a little temperature reader so you can see if the temperature is a safe temperature for your baby and just warms you know run it under some hot water or use a large cup with some hot water there you go do it yourself bo baby bottle warmer i really don't think it's necessary and they're you know they're not that i mean they're not that expensive but still all the money that you can save as a new time mom you'll want to do it let's see okay next up i have a few more items on my list bassinet travel bassinet that goes on your stroller we have the city select lux love the stroller i love the bassinet but i just think that it wasn't necessary i kind of splurged on that this time with this baby because i think it's super cute it's very luxurious and it did come in handy when you're going out for a whole day you don't want them to be crunched up in their car seat and things like that but if you're not really going to be doing that type of stuff during the newborn stage which most of us don't i really don't think it's necessary because you can't even First of all, you gotta wake up your baby to take them out of the car seat, to put them in the bassinet. That's annoying. Not only that, you you can't really pick up the bassinet with the baby in it. It says not to do that. You know, so I just really think it's not necessary. Just get yourself an adapter to put the car, get a nice, nice, invest in a really nice car seat that's comfy for them. Put the car seat in there on your stroller and there you go. You don't have to worry about them waking up. You get a nice, um, 
car seat cover that's what i think is the best now you don't want to keep them in their car seat for hours and hours sleeping so it's not good for an all day thing but you know you're not going to be they, they can only go in that bassinet for probably maybe the first three months if that and most people don't really stay out all day with the newborn so i really don't think it's necessary there's tons of other travel bassinets which i've mentioned in my um i mentioned one in my newborn essentials video that is much better if you're gonna be going you know, to the beach or to the pool or you're gonna be going to your parents' house, you can set that up. It's like a backpack bassinet and there you go. I think that's much better option and saves you a lot of money. I think just that bassinet was $100. <laughs> now, <laughs> my husband's probably watching this and being like, well, you told me to get it. <laughs> yes, it was something that I splurged with. I still love it. I think it's super cute and we did use it. I just don't think it's necessary. If you're really debating getting that, I don't think it's necessary. So the last baby item that I want to share with you guys that's on my unnecessary list of baby items to not really get, you don't need them, is a bumbo seat. And I don't know if that's the way you pronounce it, but that's the way I pronounce it. But it's super cute and I get why people like them. Um, we've, you know, we've only used it, I can count on one hand the amount of times I've used it with my daughter and my son and I just... I don't know. I don't get the hype about them. I am, you know, I think it's cute. You know, you can kind of sit them in it. It helps them learn to sit up and get comfortable with that. And you can start feeding their solids to them because it does come with like a little tray. But I personally just like the Sit Me Up by Fisher Price. I think that that works just as good. And I prefer that, honestly. And my main like problem with this is that you cannot get your baby out of it unless you either have somebody hold the seat down so you can get your baby out of it or you're like putting your foot down to hold it down while you're getting your baby out of it because both of my babies got stuck in it. It's extremely hard to like get them out by yourself without looking like a crazy person. So, I mean, in my son, I mean, he has like chunky, those the cute chunky legs. So if your baby has like the cute chunky rolly legs, it's going to be impossible to get them out by yourself without somebody holding it down. So I just think that that's a super unnecessary item that you know has been highly acclaimed and highly recommended. I just don't think that you need at all. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and it helped you figure out what not to buy. I really wish that I would have watched more videos like this as a new time mom. I didn't honestly get into YouTube until my maternity leave with my daughter and I literally was just like in shock <laughs> because I'm like, why didn't I know about YouTube and all these amazing mommy YouTubers? That's what made me want to start my YouTube channel because I want to help you in any way that I can because there's so many things that aren't talked about enough. So leave me a comment if you guys have any questions about any type of baby products. I feel like I'm an expert after having two kids. I'm sure if you're watching this and you have two or more kids, you probably feel the same way. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and subscribe below. Check out some of my other videos and I hope we can connect on here. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.